everybody. Welcome back to Sarah J. Awesome. This is just a super fun little video. I was doing some spring cleaning in my house the other day and I found these decals that I totally forgot that I bought like a year ago. I will try to see if they are still available on Amazon and how much I paid for them and how much they are now. I absolutely freaking love these decals. They are the same exact color that I have on my door handles and I like that they're very subtle. They look black or like glitter black most of the time. If you're in any kind of shade, they look black or any kind of overcast. But if the light hits them just right, they look freaking sick. And I, I just love them for that reason. We'll see how these hold up on the trunk and the front, but they're fine on the door handles. It's not a crazy review or anything. It's just like... <laughs> Hey, screw it. Why not? My car's already clean. Let's throw these on here because we have some sunshine out. Tesla Model 3 logo decal wrap. I got these on Amazon. I bought it with my own money, you guys. This is like not sponsored in any way. There's one for the front, the trunk, the steering wheel, the side indicators and cameras, five wheel caps, four alcohol wipes and installation instructions gloss flip deep space so appears almost black until the transfer tape is removed it will shine dark blue purple and teal after installed in the sun and i just cleaned my car so it's the perfect time i think this one might be for the steering wheel which i'm super excited about because i will see that one all the time installation instructions Clean the emblems with the included alcohol wipes, peel the clear transfer tape and decal from backing paper, align the decal and emblem on top of the V pattern, lightly touch the decal so that it sticks. If it needs to be realigned, gently lift and reposition, rub and peel. Take your time. Contact test for free replacement decals. Nice. So let's do this one first. Oh, these are actually good alcohol wipes. I'm an idiot. It says on the back, Model 3 and Y steering wheel. Woohoo! I am so excited about this. I've been wanting to do something different in my car. I've been getting like a little bit bored with it. I'm going to be looking at this one all the time. So I definitely want this one to be as perfect as possible. You can restick it several times, so... That's good. What do you think? Looks pretty even. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, it's just like my door handles. I am so excited right now. Ah! Yay! So now that we have it on there, I'm just going to rub it really, really good. And the sun is warming it up too, so that's definitely good for it. And I'm going to go around the edges a little bit. Ooh, that looks so good. And I just cleaned my car, so ah, everything but the cup holders. Don't, don't look in the cup holders, but I got to get my car cleaning gel for that. Don't look at my nails either. You have to have super clean, dry, oil-free hands in order to put stuff on like this. So my hands are super dry right now, but, and look at my, oh my gosh, I washed my car at the car wash and my leg is like disgusting. That's from the hose hitting me at the car wash. Anyway, it's kind of like a temporary tattoo, <laughs> which I have a lot of experience in and no real tattoos, just FYI. <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> it is so cool oh my god i i'm in love with this i can't believe these have just been sitting in my closet for like i don't know like seriously mm, a year all right let's move on to the other ones so we're gonna do the front next all right so this is before And my horrible little blemishes here, but never mind those. Let's just look at the overall beauty of this car. Never mind me like using my shirt here. 
but I just don't want this dust to get in there. All right, so here is the one for the frunk. So we're gonna line up the V's again. I feel like it's easier to line up the top one first and then adjust the bottom after that. Mm, um, I don't know, does that look right? I love doing this stuff because it's so easy. I definitely don't recommend doing these types of things in the cold or definitely cold and moist would be bad. And I don't recommend it in the spring either because you'll get pollen blowing in there underneath it while you're trying to do it. But right now it's supposed to be winter, but it's like 75 degrees outside. I wish the light was hitting it, but it definitely looks cool. The sun is just going down though. Okay, so now we're gonna do the trunk. And I have that one right here. So that is before with the chrome. I love that hot pink and orange color. You see that? Oh, it's so pretty. So this is my door handle wrap. I don't know if you can see it. The sun's kind of going down now. There we go. You can kind of see it's getting a little bit faded and scratched. And that's because I've had them for probably 12 months now. And I mean, I pressure wash the car and, you know, dry it with a rag and everything. So that's really not bad at all. They haven't peeled up. They look really good. Let's try to see what other ones we have here. For the hubcaps, um, I just don't think that they'll show up very well. And actually, yeah, I think I'm going to wait on the wheel cap ones because I just put a tire shine on them and it's kind of like an oil. So I think I'm actually going to wait on these. And the cameras, unfortunately, I don't have the little indention on there for these. At least I don't think I do. We can get out and look at that and I'll show you all what I'm talking about. Like on some people's, I've seen that there, I could be crazy, but I think there's like a little indention here for the Tesla symbol. And mine is just very plain chrome. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put that on there because it probably will come off when I, when I wash the car, I'm not sure. Hmm. And then for the hubcaps, I really like how the symbol stands out in this chrome color. I feel like if I put the darker ones on, then they won't stand out as much. So I might actually get a different color for the hubcaps. So I actually only looked at the driver's side camera. My passenger one actually has the indention for the Tesla symbol, which is what I was talking about. And it's funny because this is a 2020 camera, okay? It's the side camera on the passenger side. And this is the original one that came with the car. But I actually had a manufacturer defect about, I don't know, maybe six months into having the car. 
and this camera went out. I made a video about it. And Tesla Mobile Service came out and they replaced this camera and they said that they were getting these cameras from a different company and they stopped doing business with the company that was making the other camera that's on the passenger side because the soldering in the cameras was coming apart. It wasn't good soldering. So the wires were coming apart and the cameras were failing and defective and they would eventually just go out. So this is actually <laughs> a different camera manufacturer than the one on the passenger side. So this is the updated camera from the newer company that they started doing business with that's supposed to be better and have better quality and better soldering and not have manufacturer defect. That's crazy. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so this is a 2021 camera and then the one on my passenger side is the 2020. Interesting. Well, well, I guess we're just going to leave the sticker off <laughs> because that'd be weird to have like one over here and then not have one on the other side. I decided not to put the decals on the cameras because I do have different cameras on both sides of my car, but um, I, I do love the trunk, frunk, and steering wheel sticker. And I am going to try to look around and see if I can find some other stickers for my hubcaps. I do want to put a decal in the middle over the Tesla symbol, but I think that these are too dark to go on there. It would just look from far away like they my hubcaps don't even have the Tesla symbol on there because these are so dark. I have been looking. I haven't found any that I'm in love with yet, but we'll see. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Have a great week and I will see y'all next time.